As you can see, uh, I've got the first layer of chop strand down and cut to fit where I want it to all the way around. What I started with is I went ahead and rolled out the, um, the deck with a coat of uh, resin and let it kick off. It's still pretty sticky, but it's, it's, you know, it's still wet, but it's not completely cured. And then I put that over the top of it, which the reason I do that is because when you, if you put it down over bare uh, wood, what's going to happen when you pour um, uh, resin over the top, it wants to suck it through into the wood and you end up with uh, dry spots on top. So the wood is now sealed. Um, I started with this piece, so I'm going to go ahead and wet this one out. And I've got another one ready to go right here that I can just throw on top as I'm moving backwards. So... Um, I'm going to roll this out. It's going to be kind of a pain to deal with all this stuff right here. I'm probably going to put a piece of board down just so I can put my knee on it. Uh, pour. This will probably take two quarts, I'm thinking. Um, we'll start with that uh, and just keep rolling backwards until I run out and then I'll mix some more. I got about uh, three quarters of the way through with the first layer of chop strand. And it is so hard to try to videotape and do this at the same time. The chop strand just gets everywhere and it's get all on the camera and it's afraid it's going to ruin it so I mean it's pretty straightforward as far as how you lay it out I overlap it about three or four inches after, at every seam uh, you wet it out tremendously I think I've got three gallons right here in just this uh, it takes an incredible amount of uh, resin to do uh, to do chop stranded maybe not three gallons maybe two um, uses a lot it soaks it up like a sponge but uh, what's going to give it its nice texture and I tell you I love the way this looks it's turning out really nice all I have to do once I put the second layer down is buzz it with my DA grind grinder and throw down gel coat uh, after we build our our little pieces up there those shouldn't be too bad um, I hope it's not bad they uh, you kind of dread and building them uh, the front parts but uh, once that's done uh, we can roll in the gel coat and uh, start putting the interior back in. I gotta of course build my seat brackets but that's not a huge deal. We'll get them taken care of. So I'll try to videotape when I move on further back but I think I'm gonna take a little break for a while. Three quarts. full three quarts. I still have quite a bit left to go. I'm going to mix up another pint. That should take care of this. I don't have to worry about rain or water anymore. 
this is a huge milestone right here guys I have got the first layer of chop strand in now it took me all day because I had to stop go take a shower go do work real work make money come back start working again has stopped take a shower go do real work so uh, this is how committed I am to get this done um, everything is glassed in as far as the first layer is concerned I'm gonna put one more uh, layer of chop strand over this and I can't be happier with how this came out this looks so beautiful um, it is every the chop strand actually laid down perfectly I mean into the corners around these edges uh, I, I can't complain at all uh, I can just only, ima only imagine what it's gonna look like when I get the second layer done so uh, anyway it's done I'll see if I can videotape a little bit of me doing it tomorrow but I'm telling you it's a whipping when it comes to uh, uh, trying to videotape and put down this stuff because it is really really difficult to uh, maneuver and it's messy and I'm afraid I'm gonna ruin this camera so anyway um, waterproofing is done we don't have to worry about it anymore um, I'm really really excited now you see the light at the end of the tunnel once we do this the second layer I can uh, put my um, pieces up underneath the bow area and get it all nice and cleaned up and uh, glass those in I'm out of silica now so I need to get some more so I can make some peanut butter to glue in the front and that's going to be the, the the bow section actually this the whole console sits on um, and I saved the old pieces for patterns so it's going to be a make it I don't know a little easier you know so I don't have to completely measure and completely go off just uh, go off memory and uh, you know bare measurements so anyway um, it's done this is huge I, I, I can't tell you how excited I am right now that this is over with now I mean you can seriously once this kicks off this last beat I can fill this thing full of water and it ain't gonna rot because it's gonna flow where it needs to flow and go to the bilge so I'm done for today see you tomorrow the deck is done second layer applied everything looks beautiful I am uh, very relieved that this is all finished now I don't have to worry about <clears throat> water leakage and all that kind of stuff so all the major glassing finished the only thing I need to do and concern with is where the ski locker is I'll cut that out and then I'm gonna actually take little pieces of chop strand and wrap them around really good uh, to seal that uh, that wood edge um, and then I'm going to put um, a lip on the bottom of that to hold the ski locker hatch. What was that? It came from over there. I'm going to go check this out. Alright, we're all clear. Some kid playing with fireworks. Sure scared the crap out of me. Anyway. Let me tell you how I did this. Um, I know a lot of times I get to talking and I forget to tell you exactly what I did. Um, what I started with was up front, um, what I did is, is I did these, this roll of chop strand comes in 50 inch rolls. That means it's 50 inches wide. So what I did is I used that going four and a half. So what I, I knew that I started at the nose where I wanted the end to be and came back 50 inches and measured across and came up the hole a little ways, cut, slid it in there and then I cut even so therefore it kind of creates a a, 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 a corner or a, a point to go on the front and then the second layer I overlapped about four inches third layer same thing and uh, when you go to glass them down it's real simple you dump the stuff on there start spreading it around tap all the air bubbles out make sure you're good to go um, I got a couple air bubbles I've seen up in the front I think it's because I was so cramped I wasn't paying attention but it's not going to matter. These aren't really structural. Uh, it's not like getting them in your 1708. So, and it's up on the hull. So it's not like it's on the uh, the deal. So we're going to cover it up with the uh, gel coat anyway. So we're all we're all good to go. Um, I just marched my way backwards. Kept you know putting down the uh, the goop. And I tell you, we went through a lot of resin. There's a lot of resin on this uh, this deck, big time. Oh, and it's still sticky. Just stuck in my pants. Um, so. We're ready for the next step guys uh, that means building the front pieces and what I went over to my storage unit and I got 
the uh, captain's chair and then you can't see down in there but the little blue pieces those are all the little pieces I save for the patterns so I can draw them out and uh, start cutting them uh, shouldn't be too bad but then again that's a tight space up there also brought back the captain's chair so I can measure for my seat pedestal I'm do that tomorrow same thing for the uh, passenger side I have a feeling I'm gonna have to cut the pedestal down a little bit to make it fit so my head's not sticking above the windshield um, gosh I think that's uh that's it before we start putting the engine in uh, and my dad had a wonderful idea and this is gonna cost a little extra money but it's not gonna make that big of a deal to mount the engine to build these blocks what we're gonna do is we're gonna go rent that hoist first bring it over here have the gimbal housing of course uh, installed uh, and we're gonna lower the engine in with some mock-up blocks that we make and find exactly where we want it by using the alignment tool and where it's gonna sit up here that way we can build them exactly where they need to be we don't have any problems or no guesswork or anything like that we'll pull the engine back out then we'll go ahead and install glass in the the, uh, the mounts and then uh, gel coat everything uh, now what I've thought about doing is because I don't want to uninstall and install the gimbal housing more than once is I'm gonna clean this up sand it down and we're gonna go ahead and gel coat this um, uh, gimbal area at least out to about right here so therefore we can put on the the uh, the gimbal housing and not worry about any problems uh, down the road and then what we'll do is we'll stop right here um, with our waxed version and then whenever we we put the new coats on we'll sand this back a little bit so therefore it has a good adhesion uh, onto the uh, the old or the new that way it goes nice um, I think that's about my, about my best plan without having to completely pull it out and put it back in pull it out put it back in uh, so that's where we are right now um, I brought back our toy from the storage unit uh, the kids have been hounding me to go out and I've been putting this off and putting this off so putting a charge on the battery uh, put some fresh fuel in it uh, start it up make sure it runs right I think we'll go out tomorrow afternoon when it's you know close to a hundred I got to do it you know got to spend some time with them and uh, take them out on the jet ski so anyway it's back at the house now and uh, We'll get back on this as soon as possible.